Welcome back to Make Me A Fan. I'm Jay. I'm Pete. And I was all fired up yesterday with this Make Me A Fan of Lance Archer. I'm a little more calmed down, a little more reserved today. But after yesterday, man, I don't know what to expect. So encyclopedia. Yes, sir. In your quest to make me a fan of the future TNT champion. Yes, sir. Would you enlighten me on what we're gonna watch today? Absolutely. We're staying with TNA 2008 Destination X Motor City Machine Guns Ooh. versus LAX. Oh, son of a biscuit. Versus uh, Jimmy Rave and Lance Archer. All right, more tag team action for Lance Archer. You know, I didn't know what to expect from him. I enjoyed the Dustin match, even though a lot of it didn't make any sense. Have you seen mm -hmm. it? Yeah, okay. it was good. It was okay. But I mean, the ref was yeah. as buried as hell, you know? It, terrible planning, people. Like, I'm gonna rip the turnbuckle off right in front of the ref and then bang his head into it and there's gonna be no DQ. Likewise, Dustin hits him with the Shattered Dreams. The ref doesn't say shit. Like, come on, people. Nah, there's gotta be somebody that says, why is this happening? Promise me something. Quality control. Promise me that when we get to where we're going, and we are going, that anytime we do something, we ask ourselves, why? Okay. Not just why, but how? Exactly. Better question, how did a camera get here? When you got the backstage segments or whatever, how did a camera get here? And there just happens to be a camera at this moment in time. And another reason is, why did this person come to the ring with a bottle of water in the middle of a match? Like, stuff like that. It just doesn't make any sense. That's what drives me nuts about those people. But enough about them. Let's talk more about Lance Freaking Archer. So we got Hernandez, we got Homicide as LAX, mm -hmm. we got Motor City Machine Guns, Alex Shelley, and Chris Sabin, mm -hmm. and we got Lance Archer and who? Jimmy Rave. So this is their guitar hero kind of. Oh, this okay. is Lance Archer being a rocker. Like again, they're trying to kind of figure out what to do with Lance Archer. And okay. these were these were the best ones that I could find for TNA. But, All right. You know, this is this is this is that, and then we can get into some New Japan stuff for so sure. So who's Jimmy Rave? Have we seen him anywhere else? Uh, not really. No. All right. Well, the one hitter quitter. So I guess we should watch him hit. All right. <laughs> Are you ready? I'm ready if you're ready. Click the link in the description so you can watch the match or the first comment because we're gonna watch it right now. Once again. Impact impresses the hell out of me. Son of a biscuit, this was a great match. Dude, so many good spots in this match. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, I, I was not watching Lance Archer. I was watching Hernandez. Hernandez was the star of this match. Man, that dive he did over the top. And he just rips his shirt off, just like effortlessly. I mean, it's just, yeah. That dude is a monster. Super Max is legit. I mean, he is, he is prolific and gifted for sure, all day, twice on dude, Sunday. Dude, and then you said the crucifix bomb, he called it the border toss? Beautiful. Dude, even the sit out power bomb looks fantastic. That dude is strong. You're right, prolific and gifted <laughs> is the way to describe that man. Son of a biscuit. Hernandez stole the show, in my opinion. You know who else kicked a lot of ass in that match? Was your boy. Jimmy Rave, is that his name? Yeah. He had some great moves. Jimmy Rave, I don't know where you are. You might be working at the Dairy Queen, I don't know. But he was fantastic in this match. Motor City Machine Guns never fails to impress me. These guys kicked all kinds of butt too. And respect to Lance Archer. Even though I don't feel like he was necessarily featured in this match, he had a couple of moments. And his big guy moves counted. You damn right. And that moonsault was pretty damn good. Ooh, which did. reminded me of the Undertaker-esque rope walk, which I didn't know what he was gonna do, but he didn't just drop the clothesline like Taker. Oh, hell no. He had to step the game up and hit a moonsault against freaking Dustin Reynolds, or Runnels, fucking, ah, what's his name? Uh, Rose, sorry, sorry, Dustin Rose. The stupid moonsault, that was fantastic. Look, Lance Archer, and respect to you, Pete. I was a fan of the work I saw on AEW last week. Not so much a fan of what I saw in, in this series, okay? Mm -hmm. But knowing what I see now, I see glimmers of that here, mm -hmm. okay? And I feel like, okay. So this is the the, found, the the foundation of what greatness we see today. This is the basis from whence he rose, right? This, mm -hmm. is, this is where he came from. Mm -hmm. And I can kind of trace his roots back to here. Because the first one we saw, he was like, it looked like Jack Skellington a little bit. Mm -hmm. He's getting bigger, he's getting stronger. Even though this gimmick was trash, the uh, Guitar Hero gimmick was terrible. He looked like a broke ass Slash, which I know that was the point, okay? But it was tough. And uh, But the moves were great, and I believed what he was doing in the ring. He looked like a big dude who could cause mm -hmm. some pain. Him versus Hernandez was probably the highlight of the match for me early on. And then of course, toward the end, Hern Hernandez just ran away with it. So of course, I mean, he had to get the border toss. I mean, you know who the star in LAX is, yeah. Oh, dude, son of, that amazing. Hernandez, if I can find you on social media, I will tag you because you deserve all the praise that I am heaping upon you. Homicide, you know we love you. We've reviewed some homicide matches yeah, in the I've past. I've had I the pleasure of meeting Homicide multiple times. Yeah, so nicest, no, no. Nicest OG in the whole world. Not saying anything, not taking anything away from Homicide because we saw him at PCW, right? Oh, yeah. And I'm like, okay, not today, dude. Homicide's legit. But damn, Hernandez, holy smokes. If I was 
a, a, a talent scout. Mm -hmm. I'm signing Hernandez and the Motor City Machine Guns. Like those guys stole the show tonight. So great recommendation, fantastic match, high energy. I mean, I was totally bought in. The uh, the diet from from uh, from Homicide wasn't expecting that. You know, in AEW, they sit around and have a beer and smoke a cigarette and talk for 10 minutes while the guy gets ready for the dive. Except this, he just went and he did that somersault. You chaos, know. <laughs> chaos. It was organized chaos, right? Absolutely. It was chaotic, but it was in a way that we loved it and I wanted more. I, I've been watching little TNA here and there. I got to give these guys more attention. This was amazing. Yeah, yeah. there's a lot of good stuff. I'm things. sorry, I'm good. There's, there, there's, there's a lot of good stuff about TNA, but you know what? We'll stick a pin in it and we'll come back to some more. So All right. Tomorrow, mm -hmm. we've got a new series. Okay, tell me what's happening tomorrow. Pete. I'll tell you tomorrow at 9 a.m. Ooh, surprise, suckers! Bring your butts back tomorrow at 9, and I guess that's enough. I've talked enough. You good with this? I think it's great. I think we're gonna see some great stuff tomorrow, and we'll see you there.